next oh we got 25 biggest features added to cfb 25 now i'm glad um eric mayweather is dropping these videos you know what i mean because i actually needed to see this all right what is the biggest features um after the gameplay reveal i am i have a lot of hope for this game now like, at first, it was like I had hope because they were showing us all the good stuff. But, you know, with EA, you can never just go off the first look. I had to still know in the back of my mind, like, is this trash? You feel me? Because they, they show, like, little glimpses of highlights. But that was just like the AI is running around. After seeing the gameplay of people, real humans playing, I'm not going to lie, it's fire. This game is fire, chat. I ain't going to lie. Now, we're going to have to see. You know what I'm saying? When we play, all right? When we actually play, we're going to see. But as of right now, it's looking like a W. Uh, let me know in the comments how um, surprised, how enthusiastic you are to play this game. Let me know in the comments. Hit the like button. Hit that sub button. College Football let 25 it, comes man. out in a week. So let's talk about the 25 biggest features for the upcoming game. If you haven't been keeping up to date every step of the way, or you just want a roundup of all the most important things for the game, including some info that we learned today, this is the video oh, for you. New info? If you don't want to miss out Already? on some of the future info that we'll be dropping. Oh, actually, no, it is new info. Oh, I'm gonna wait him to say it. I did see some. Sh oh, hold on. Oh my god, I forgot. I totally forgot about. It. Okay, okay, okay. Glory I totally forgot about it. this week or the exclusive totally gameplay I'll have for you guys this weekend. Make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't I miss did see Let's see if we can get this channel to 600k subs before the release of this game. If everybody watching yes, is subscribed, we could do that in a few days. Number one, over 11,000 real life players are in the game, including right. Arch Manning, who just announced that yeah, he's officially in the game. He was one of the only notable people that had originally opted out of the game and it kind of became a meme a lot of people were giving him a hard time for it but i guess he had a change of heart especially after seeing oh, pretty much heck? everybody else opt into the game so you will be able to play with arch manning in college football 25 including every other big name and even small name player so this will be the yeah. first college football game that actually utilizes real players and they even have real player likeness as well that looks pretty close to how they look in real life they used ai along with pictures to kind of make these faces because they couldn't scan over 11,000 players into the game but most of them look pretty good number two fast-paced gameplay this is one of the biggest things about this game yes, and kind of differentiates it from madden's gameplay which is also created by ea sports as we saw in some of the gameplay footage yesterday and earlier on the game does play very fast it's very wide open and it's funny because i was seeing on twitter people was hating they was mad that it was fast now i feel like everybody kind of feels the same kind of like how i feel as well um if you're running around with fast people and you can juke fast and do all this like cheesy stuff. You you know you're happy. You're happy that you're basically abusing the game. You're happy. But when it's happening against you, then it's a problem. Which I understand, bro. You know what I'm saying? But like I said last time though, it's two different trashes, bro. It's an irritating trash that irks your soul and irk every nerve in your body when you lose, versus a trash where it's fun. When everybody fast, bro, it's a fun, it's a fun, bro. Because let's just say, okay, like you said, you can't tackle. All right, you can't tackle. So that means in the, in the video game, y'all both just going to be scoring, bro. It's, at, at, at that point, it's going to be who get the most points uh, before the fourth quarter. That's all that matters now. You know what I'm saying? Cause so if you can't tackle and he can't tackle, what does it matter? What does it matter if you really think about it? What does it matter? It doesn't matter at all. It does. You know what I mean? Because... When it comes down, it say the tie, say the, it's a tie game, 45 to 45, fourth quarter, last drive. You know what I mean? Or 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 just say you down a touchdown. Can you score when the time matters the most? Can you score? That's the question. So, come on, bro. Yeah, it don't matter. Have bro. a lot of big plays. Niggas gonna, gonna hate no matter what, bro. Ball carrier and left stick movement in this game. You're gonna be able to get sticky. You're gonna be able to create highlight plays. And you're I love gonna be getting able to sticky. Really make some crazy stuff happen on the field in a way that you can't just quite replicate one to one in Madden because it's a much slower game and it's meant to be a little more realistic, I guess. But in terms of a video game, the fast paced gameplay Thank makes you. it much more fun, in my opinion. Thank you. Bro. Number three, revamped passing. This is another one of the biggest changes to this game as 
compared to Madden because the Madden passing system, while okay, doesn't have the best ball trajectory. However, in this game, they have redone it with a new passing meter that gives you much, much more realistic ball trajectories. You're able to really loft the ball into the air to the back pylon on deep bombs. You're also able to get good intermediate touch passes and throw it just over the middle field defenders like linebackers. You're really able to make throws in this game that we haven't really been able to make in Madden for a long time, which makes this game even more realistic and it makes the passing a lot of fun. Combined with the left stick movement, you're able to really place the ball where you want. And now your throw power rating isn't just about distance, but also velocity. So a guy with high throw power is absolutely going to be able to make more difficult and tight window throws than a lesser throw power QB will. Number four, wear and tear. This is another one of the bigger gameplay changes from the old NCAA games and even the Madden games. You have to really monitor how your players are taking hits. The more your player takes a hit throughout the game, the more certain body parts start to fatigue and their ratings will dip a little bit based on how much punishment they're taking. So with QBs, you definitely want to get out of bounds or slide. With running backs, a lot of times you want to make that choice of whether to go out of bounds or actually try to truck forward because you might take more damage taking that impact crazy if you're out of bounds you can kind of keep yourself a little healthier for later in the game there's also different abilities and a toughness rating applied to this so some big name players will be able to withstand more hits they'll be more oh yeah and I, I was asking last time too how come the quarterback or it's like one of the quarterbacks y'all was saying i think it was him uh ewers um i guess because they was playing against michigan and michigan was already up like 30 points and and it was a home game for michigan so I'm like, why does the quarterback not have no stadium pulse? Like he just out there, like is everything cool? Like he should not see no no routes on the field. All the routes should be squiggly, squiggly lines. You know what I mean? It should be all messed up. But everything was perfect. So I'm I was confused. But y'all said he might have like a, a mental ability. So I forgot about that. They have the mental abilities to keep their composure. So that's that's the W. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, look, I don't know none of these players, so I don't know who's Rating actually a good quarterback. So some big name players will be able to withstand more hits. They'll be more workhorse like players, so it won't affect them as much as lesser players, but you still want to monitor this for your whole team. This will also be in the game modes like Dynasty and Road to Glory, where you'll have to monitor it more on a week to week basis rather than just a quarter to quarter basis. Right. Number five, abilities. This game has a ton of player abilities. No X factors like Madden, but just abilities. But the way they've done it in this game is the way that most people kind of like abilities done it's not a guarantee it doesn't happen every time they have okay. different tiers from bronze all the way up to gold the higher your ability is the more it will activate but it'll never be a guarantee it's only situationally going to apply a boost to your player and it's really only going to be on the top 100 players to make them feel a little more special number six home field advantage now this was expected to be in the game because it was a staple of the older ncaa games right. but they've really done it in a bigger and better way this time around because the sights and sounds of the stadium are on a whole nother level and they're much more intense than they used to be they also brought back the crowd pulse where you can pump up the crowd and turn the meter up they have a lot of differences with the home field advantage compared to the older games where you're going to see more players not understanding their assignments than they did back in the day it's going to be harder to audible and do hot routes when the home field advantage is at its worst obviously you're going to have the play art that's going to be very distorted it definitely feels like a challenge when you're on the road in this game and to go along with this there is also confidence and composure in this game so if a player is hot he will be less affected by the home field advantage or if they have a road ability they may be less affected by this but if their composure starts to dwindle if they start to take some big hits or get sacked or your QB throws an interception then he's going to be a little bit more affected by the home field advantage so how you play in the game will also affect how your team is reacting to the home field advantage okay. really quickly okay. before we continue with this list I do want to mention that we are still sponsored by underdog fantasy if you like sports and you like winning money W play with brought it to a whole nother level this time around of course you're gonna have all of the crazy option playbooks like the army and the navy but you're also gonna see a lot of newer age formations in this game like with oklahoma and tennessee that have the wide splits in their playbook you're gonna see a ton more rpo type stuff in this game than you saw in the older games because it's such now, a big let me know in the comments bro what is your go-to formation gonna be now i feel like off rip off rip as soon as the game come out i already feel like the option is gonna be broken i'm calling it out bro it's gonna be broken they got the fake pitch you know what i mean you literally have like all free control of the pitching system now 
which is insane. That's insane, bro. So I feel like, especially if you got a good quarterback, and, and nine times out of ten, if you really think about it, all college football quarterbacks is damn near running backs. Like you think about uh, Jalen Miro, bro, he's literally a running back, bro. He's not a, a quarterback. He plays quarterback, but he's a running back, bro. Every every play, he's trying to run a nigga over, bro. Every single time. Every time. He never I have never seen him slide ever. Ever. So you see, you basically have two running backs in the backfield. It, you get a pitch it or run it. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's gonna be broken already, bro. And then two, you only get one um just the outside D lineman. So it's just a a one on two, bro. Like that's cheating, bro. So I, I, I don't steal my stuff though, y'all. Don't steal my stuff, cause that's what I'm gonna be running, bro. No cap. Don't try, don't, don't, come on, bro. Don't steal my sauce, bro. Come on, bro. Now, a lot of playbooks have some nasty RPOs. There's a ton of auto motion stuff in the game, which is very, very popular in both the that, college bro. and NFL. And bro. they still got the thing where you can get hit with the ball, and then the ball still magically pop out and as a perfect pitch to him. There's a like they should take that out. I ain't a lot of auto motion stuff in the game, which is look is very, very, very popular. They should take that out. Why is that in the game? Why? Like, if somebody's getting hit in real life, they can't throw a perfect pitch, bro. That's not happening, bro. In both the college and NFL level, happening. you're going to see a lot of Whatever, crazy bro. trick plays as well. There's so yeah. much to dive into with these playbooks yeah. to where you can keep switching around and you'll always find something new and never truly get tired of them. Number eight, the switch stick. One of the bigger oh, innovations about this this. the switch stick on defense, which I will forgot. allow you to switch between players with the right stick post play. So you can be on a linebacker defending a shallow route, and then you can flick the stick up to the safety and then try to take away a seam route or something like that. This is going to be something that definitely takes some time to get used to and perfect, but those who do it will be that much better on defense in this game. Number nine, unique hot routes and stems. Something that this game is introducing that the older oh, yeah, games right. didn't have and even and Madden has not had is the ability to have a bunch of different hot routes at your disposal without right. the need for an ability. So instead of just the standard hot routes, you're going to have the more exotic ones now with both the analog and on the D pad. So you'll be able to hot route corners and posts. You'll be able to hot route deep cross and wheel routes for wide receivers. Crazy. For running backs, you can hot route Texas routes, different flat routes, wow. triple option routes, and more. And included with this are the custom route stems where now you can take routes and you can stem them to whatever depth you want. So if you want a corner to run two yards or you want it to run 30 yards, you can do that. Number 10, a new kick meter. This is going to be another one of the bigger changes for gameplay. And it's going to make those long field goals or even intermediate ones a lot harder than they've been before. We've had different kick styles with old NCAA and Madden games. This is by far the most challenging kick meter to date where the side to side bar moves pretty quickly. And if you're on the road and home field advantage is going, crazy this thing moves so fast that it's almost impossible to get it in the middle and then you have to also fill up the power bar after you nail the accuracy but you don't want to overkick because if you kick too hard that's also going to affect your accuracy so there's a bunch of different things what you have to take into account Yo! Field goals now and i guarantee you in this game you're going to miss more than you ever had in a game before making those long field goals lie, look this could be even more funnier though because think about it at the game winning kick no one first of all no one has good defense then on top of that, no one can, bro. This is gonna be like just, this is what, well, this is exactly what we want, though. This is what we want, bro. This is a fun trash, bro. This is a fun trash. It's gonna be just so discombobulated that it's like, bro, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's better, anymore. bro. Number 11, multiple commentary teams. Another big feature for this game's presentation is the fact that there are multiple. Regular flight vid be like. See, I don't understand. Like, this new thing, bro, like, because I've been seeing it now, like, like, the yapping. Like, bro, don't y'all understand that's what a reaction is, bro? Like, do y'all, like, this, okay, I got a question for y'all. Do y'all want me to sit here and not say nothing? Should I just turn the video on and not say a word? Is that what I should do? Is that what I should do? I feel like y'all forget, like, what a reaction is. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the whole point. Of y'all watching this video. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Because if you really wanted to watch the video, you can go watch it. The actual, You can go watch this actual video. You know what I'm saying? They turn five minutes into 20 minutes. Sometimes, bro, you got you to gotta say what you got to say. It's on your chest, bro. You know what I'm saying? No cap. No cap. You got to say what's on your chest, bro. You know what I mean? This is my video, bro. I can pause all day, every day. And multiple commentary teams. Another big, big feature for this game's presentation.
adaptation of yeah, the fact that there are multiple commentary teams. You have the big game commentators, which are going to be Kirk Herbstreet and Chris Fowler. And then you're going to have the regular games, which is going to be David Pollock, Reese Davis, and Jesse Palmer. There's going to also be studio updates coming throughout the game from Kevin Connors as well. Now, if you're doing regular play now games, you can pick whichever commentary team you want. But if you're in dynasty mode, you're going to get the big game commentators. If it's like a playoff game or it's the game of the week, otherwise you're going to get the secondary commentary crew. Number 12, in-depth recruiting. One of the biggest things about this game oh, yeah, is going to be recruiting this. in dynasty mode. It's pretty much the life of dynasty mode, bringing in those new players, having to convince them to pick your school. And it's more in depth than it's ever been more in depth than it was in NCAA 14, but also kind of similar to how it was in NCAA 13. You can do a bunch of different things to find out your players interests from DMing them to talking to their family to literally just sending the house and trying to sell them immediately. Once you find out what they like, you can then soft sell or hard sell them on your school if your school meets their motivations. However, if they have a deal breaker, you'll have no chance to get these guys at all. So if your school is not currently a championship contender, for example, and there's a recruit that wants a championship ready team now, you won't be able to get him. There's also going to be gems and busts in this system as well, and it goes much deeper than what I'm going to talk about here. I did a whole video on Dynasty Mode if you want to check that out, but just that know is. the recruiting in this game is as in-depth as it's ever been, yeah, and it's going to be pretty challenging for you. Yeah, Number bro. 13, the transfer portal. Another big change for this game is how prominent the transfer portal is. Now, in the older games, there was transferring, but there wasn't an actual transfer portal. Now, every season, players will enter the portal, players will leave your school, but you'll also be able to get... Oh, yeah, so then, too, I forgot, chat. We're going to make, um, what is it called? The, we're going to make the, uh, the dynasty, not dynasty, but the, the franchise. So we're going to make a league. I don't know how we should do it though. Should we do the make, should we make the league like a discord for it? No, no. Right. Yeah. I think, I think y'all should just join my discord. Okay. So everybody watching this video, I'm going to put the link in the description. Okay. Or in the comment, pinned comments, join the discord. Okay. Then once we join Discord, um, I think I should just make like a, I'll probably make like a tab for it or something. I have it, I'll have it set up. But basically, we, we just join Discord, and then you probably put your name in there, uh, put what team do you have, you know what I mean? And yeah, we'd be good. Cause but y'all still gotta, so I probably have my mods teach me how to do it, something like that. Cause y'all y'all probably know how to do it so. But we have it though. Just join a Discord, okay? Players out of the portal, but keep in mind, much like recruiting, some of these guys are going to have deal breakers. Some of the big name guys are probably not going to want to transfer to your school if you are a smaller school until you build them up. And this is going to make Dynasty a little bit more chaotic than it's ever been in the past. Number 14, custom conferences and schedules. In Dynasty mode, you will be able to customize conferences to your liking. You can bring back the old Pac-12. You can switch up the SEC. You can do whatever you want. And you can also customize your schedules as well. There are protect rivalry games but outside of that you can schedule pretty much whoever you want and they also have fictional fcs teams in the game that you can schedule as well number 15 team builder yes team builder is going to be in the game we haven't heard a lot about it yet from what i know it's going to be ready when the game launches i don't know if we're going to hear anything about it prior to that or not but the team builder website will go live where you'll be able to create your teams and you can actually create rosters for your teams in there as well you can upload custom logos you can change your uniforms to whatever you want you can create the roster there will be some type of a stadium selection within this and probably some more we don't know a whole bunch about it yet because i think they're still kind of getting it ready at least that's what I think, but it should be out for the release of the game, and you'll be able to create your teams in Dynasty mode. Number 16, the new college football playoff and conferences. Yes, these are going to be in the game, the updated 12-team college football playoff with the ranking polls during the season to let you know where you stand, and there are also going to be the new conferences like the new SEC and the new Big Ten, so you'll be able to experience that new college football playoff. So I got a question. So, okay, so how should we do it, though? So first night, let's just say, chat. First night it comes out, what should be the first thing we should do? Should we play online? Should we just play people online and then wait a little minute, then play the dynasty mode or yeah, dynasty mode? So I should just play with Michigan, 1v1. I think, or maybe we can do it all in one night. I ain't gonna lie. I think, we, I think, I think that's what we're gonna do. We, we might start both. I think we're gonna start dynasty mode just to see what it's looking like. You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna play online. Just to get so we can actually play the game. Because I know the dynasty mode is going to be like, it's more story mode. So it's like, it's not like the authentic, you know, head to head that we want to really have. So we'll start the dynasty mode, but it's going to be just a start. You feel me? 
Okay. What else are we gonna do? Or not Dynasty. What is it called? Road to Glory. My bad. Road to Glory. Road to Glory. In the new updated conferences in this game before people will actually see it in real life football because the game comes out before college football season starts which is pretty cool number 17 unique team intros this is something that they absolutely knocked out of the park with presentation for this game every oh, yeah. team has a unique intro for this game so you're gonna see notre dame tapping their play like a champion sign you're gonna see the florida gators rubbing the gator head lsu tapping the win bar you're gonna see pretty much anything that happens during the pregame for your team it'll likely be in this game making the the intros unique and special to each team number 18 themed crowds this is one of the smaller but in my opinion awesome things yes, about this game yes, you will have themed crowds in so dynasty Tyson? mode where applicable so for example if it's the first home game of the season typically or if it is a big rivalry game or if it's the game of the week you will see some of the themed crowds like penn state's iconic whiteout yep. or some other examples are byu with the white and blue crowd tennessee with the checkerboard crowd and more if you're school has some type of a themed crowd it'll likely be in the game but you will have to go in dynasty mode to see this ah, number 19 see i said it bro i called it i called it i called it i knew this is gonna be for some story mode type you know what i mean and they gonna beat it online head to head bro now like i said unless they did like a skip feature because they actually no they they can do that they can do that because it's same with ufc bro if you ever played ufc before what what they have is um before the game start, they show cutscenes. They show the cutscenes, and all y'all do is click X. But both, but both opponents has to click X for y'all to skip. For y'all both to skip. You know what I'm saying? So they should do it like that, bro. Cause what if both y'all want to see it, but y'all can't? You know what I mean? Come on, bro. I, and it, it it's already made by EA. UFC is already made by EA. So they they literally already do it. Whatever, bro. Pageantry and Whatever, traditions. Bro. Now, Whatever. the previous two things I talked about kind of go along with this as well, but I wanted to make this its own talking point because aside from the themed crowds and the unique team intros, the pageantry and traditions go so much deeper than that. You've got all the band songs for every school. You've got okay. unique crowd chants for every school. So if your crowd has a specific chant, there's a good chance that that is in the game. Even the hand signals that the crowd and the teams do, like for example, Texas players in the crowd, they throw up the horns or Wisconsin throws up the W. All of the those things are in the game even specific celebrations are in the game it? like the turnover <laughs> celebrations where some teams have a championship belt or colorado has the throne that they sit on and even for touchdown celebrations we found out yesterday that the colorado watch celebration that shador sanders does is also in the game they've paid very close attention to all of the details even down to the point where they have some licensed music in the game which we've seen with penn state uh, how they play Mobamba. and i do think this will play at other stadiums uh, as well because it's just one of those hype songs so you will see it play I think in other stadiums, but it's going to be more prominent at Penn State. But there's even other songs in the game like Sandstorm for South Carolina. You've got Zombie Nation, which plays at multiple stadiums. You've got Tsunami Bounce, which is popular with the Navy. And you even have the Iowa Wave song when they wave to the Children's wow. Hospital at the end of the first quarter. So oh, wow. again, absolute attention to detail nice. is paid in this game. And the sights and sounds right. are going to really immerse you in this game, unlike any previous iteration of it, in my opinion. Number 20, Road to Glory. Now, this is the mode we know the least about so far, but they do have a deep dive on this wow. coming Thursday, so we'll find out all okay. the details. But what we do know is you create your player, you have to manage a weekly schedule, your GPA, and your image, and also you can earn things like brand deals through... My GPA? I'm finna be a 0 0.1 junkie. Okay? Just like real life. All right, look. I was literally in real life, bro. I had the worst grades, but... I was the best on the field, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just, me and school just don't get along. I just, that's just what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? But y'all can tell by watching my videos, I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb. I just don't like school. You know what I'm saying? Um, But I am still in school. I'm in college. But, you know, I just don't like school, though. You know what I'm saying? But that's just what it was, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, and the game gonna be the same way, bro. Game gonna be the same way. You know what I'm saying? In the same. What? What y'all saying? Cap about? What? It, what's cap? What? What? He, what? 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 What could be cap? Your weekly schedule. Wait, you said, your GPA and your image. And so how do I manage my GPA? Do I have to go to class? What the fuck, I, bro? We're on summer break right now. These niggas want me to go to school on a video game. Oh, more one. Okay, that's awkward. But anyways, though, right, bruh. What the fuck? 
You know what I'm saying? How do I, bro? They got, they got to go with the. Yeah, also, you can earn things like brand deals down. through NIL as well. Learn you about have to Shakespeare, earn coach bro. Trust so you can get on, more playing on. time. And there's also going to be the transfer portal, and you can transfer every season if you want to. There is no high school this year in the mode, but you can pick to be a two star prospect all the way up to a five star. So if you want to be a two or a three star and have to earn your way up to a bigger school after proving yourself at a smaller school, you What's can up, do Ethan? that. And your player will transfer to Madden so that you can bring him over there and play in superstar mode with him. 21, Road to the College Football Player playoff this is the online head-to-head -head regular team mode and it says here on their website you will experience a new way to play competitively across consoles in this mode you can represent your university or you can take a power school to climb the poles you earn rank by upsetting the toughest opponents and securing the votes you need to progress and level up divisions stack wins to earn your chance at making the playoffs and take home the national championship so basically it's going to be something like maybe a 10 game season and you win so many games then you get put into the playoff with other online competitors in your division where you currently rank and then you go through the playoff and you try to win the championship and the more you win the more you climb the online leaderboards which is going to be pretty cool number 22 wow. past and present play yes! let's go oh my god this is all i talk about yes 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 ultimate team they have they say past and present Hold on, we got, we got, to, hold on. Let me get a picture real quick. Well, he probably got it. He probably got it. He probably got it. Hopefully, he got in here, bro. But literally, he literally has. Um, I seen Ray Lewis. I seen Ray Lewis. I think I seen Reggie Bush. Ray Lewis got an 85 overall card already, bro. Oh my gosh. This is what we're gonna be playing, bro. I am a mudhead now. Or this, this is what cut. This is a cut. What? This is not cut, though, right? This, this is not mud. It's cut, right? This is cut. College ultimate team. So I'm, bro. I am a cut head. All right. I'm gonna be cutting, cutting y'all. I'm cutting y'all. Cutting y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's over, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's over. It's over. It's over, bro. Here. It's over. Climb the online leaderboards, which is gonna be pretty cool. Number 22. Past and present players. So today we learned with the ultimate team deep dive that there are gonna be past and present players in the mode for the first time ever because back when it was in NCAA 14. <laughs> Bro, do y'all not understand how clutch this is, bro? Bro, because if you really think about it, like, Road of Glory nice, Dynasty is nice, but after so long, it's going to be boring. It's just like Madden, bro. It's literally just like Madden. After so long, it's like it's nothing going on in the game. After about three, four months, think about think about when, when school starts, chat. What's up, JJ? Think about when school starts. School start August, September. Let's let's just say like after the first semester of school, okay. After the first semester of school, this I think it's probably yeah, it's like going into like um, December. I think that's when it's gonna be. So around that time, October and stuff like that, it's gonna be dead basically because everybody will be playing head to head. Then, uh, Road to Road to Glory and Dynasty, they didn't already played that. They already played that. So now it's like okay, what else? What else is it to do? So that's why cut is a good mode because they always adding new stuff. It's always a new update and new cars coming out. You know what I mean? Like it's actually that's what they're putting their thought process in. So I'm glad they actually have it. And on top of that, because uh, they could just have this mode, but they not have good players on the mode. They could just be having just you know AIs or just everybody that's already in the league right now, which is okay, but not because we want to see OG players. I want to play with Ray Lewis while he was on Miami. That's what I want to play with. That's what I want to play with, bro. So this is a super W, bro. I was I, I told y'all last video I didn't know what they, what they was gonna do if they were gonna be able to have the, the licenses and stuff like that, but. I'm glad, bro. Are going to be past I'm and glad, present bro. players in the I'm mode glad. for the first time ever because back when it was in NCAA 14, they could only have past players because they didn't have the rights to current players. So there will right. be legend players in the game through that mode Let's if you go. choose to play it. Number Let's 23, go. solo seasons. Another feature in Ultimate Team will be solo seasons, which is new okay. to even this game or Madden, which means you can actually play through a season mode against the computer. You don't have to go online with your Ultimate uh, Team and get sweaty no. if you don't want to. You can build your team through the auction house, through doing challenges, and then you can play a solo 
postseason against the computer number 24 the gauntlet this is kind of a two-part thing here so there's an offline gauntlet that's been completely redone and looks absolutely crazy which includes a bunch of new mini games that were also added in this game ones that weren't even in the older ncaa games and ones that aren't even currently in madden you can go through the gauntlet play all these different mini games all these different challenges and it's pretty pretty hard in my opinion from what i've played but there's also a new gauntlet mode for ultimate team as well which is going to be during the weekend i think it's their yeah. spin on weekend league where you play through 10 games i believe it said and you have to win at least eight games to earn rewards so it's okay. going to be the competitive mode each weekend for oh no, chat we got to get good enough to do that bro if we can get good enough to play these weekend leagues, you know what I'm saying? Which I feel like I can, bro. I feel like I can. Even if I won't, even if I, like, lose or whatever, bro, that shit don't matter, bro. Because it's still good content at the end of the day. I don't have to win. You know what I'm saying? It'd be amazing if I do win. But, you know, I can't. What am I going to do against somebody who literally sits on their ass every single day, don't take a shower, don't talk to no females, eat McDonald's all day, sit on the couch, and play this game? All his time is into this game. How am I supposed to beat somebody like that? How? And they know all the cheesiest plays. Everything, bro. How am I supposed to? How? How, bro? So, I'm not mad, bro. If somebody going to devote that much of their life to this, let them have it, bro. It's the only thing they got in life. <laughs> The only thing. It's eight games to earn rewards. So it's going to be the competitive mode each weekend for Ultimate Team. Number 25, House Rules. Ultimate Team will have House Rules in this game, much like it did in Madden, but it sounds like they're putting a different spin on it and they're going to rotate it a little more often. You'll be able to play these different styles of games like College Overtime, for example, where one week it'll just be a College Overtime style game and you're just trying to beat your opponent in College OT, whereas other Ooh. weeks you may play a game where first downs are 20 yards instead of 10. Basically just okay. a different way to kind of kick back and play the game without taking it too seriously now if you want a closer look on the gameplay that we <sighs> okay all right man look this looking amazing every video now and they said they got a new video dropping on thursday so i'll see y'all when, when that come out um but yeah bro this is a i'm, I'm ready bro i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready, I'm ready.